Well, let's talk about the reduce function. The reduce function by Google Sheets collapses an array or multiple arrays into a single cumulative value. Let's take a look at an example. As an example, I have some values highlighted in purple, one, five, two, seven, et cetera, that I want to add together to create a cumulative value. I could do this by just summing my initial value of zero with all of these items in the array to create 39. But I could also do this using the reduce function to reduce this array into a single value. Reduce is a helper function for Lambda. So we'll use the reduce function in conjunction with Lambda. Let's take a look at this example by typing equals reduce. My initial value is zero and I have an array or arrays. In this case, I can just have a single array and the Lambda will have a accumulator value and it will have a current value. So it will loop through each item in the array and add the accumulator value to the current value to create a new cumulative value. So we'll have A for the accumulator. We'll say C for the current value and we'll add the accumulator to the current value. And we'll close parentheses and click enter. Let's say, for example, I want to look at the cumulative close deal dollar amounts for all my sales team using Salesforce data. I've used the coefficient app to load my Salesforce data into my Google Sheet, and I've created a pivot table that shows all of calendar 2021, the total close deal amounts by sales team. In this case, I can use reduce in conjunction with Lambda to create a cumulative value that sums all of the closed dollar amounts to create one single value. Let's take a look at this example. I'll type equals reduce. My initial value is zero. In this case, I have a range. So I'll highlight this pivot table. I'll write lambda. And again, I have an accumulator and a current value. So I'll represent those with A and C. And then I wanna add each item in the array to the current value. Close parentheses, click enter. So we have a little over 2.5 million. We will check this by doing sum across the pivot table, enter, and we have the same value. If you're interested in importing your own Salesforce data into Google Sheets using the Coefficient app, make sure to check the link in the description below.